Halo, nama saya Mahendra Yasa. Selamat datang di studio saya. Saya pameran di Milan, terus merasa krisis identitas gitu. Identity crisis ya. Yeah. Because I think I'm just follower. And then I start thinking about my art, rethinking about my art. And then I start uh, studying, learning about Balinese art. My entry entry point is from uh, contemporary, but use some some traditional uh, identity of painting, yeah. Actually, I want to study which one is more, lebih, lebih pas di antara dua itu with Balinese technique, really Balinese technique and one with uh, realis, realism, but, but miniature, miniature realism the important thing for me about that is uh, the composition how Balinese artists compose story, narrative, and uh, decorative Full, full, really full. There's no empty space. The fact that it was so different uh, in terms of its approach compared to other Indonesian contemporary artists, it was different in the sense that he really attempted to tackle and deal with issues that are not local and instead are focused much more conceptually on bigger themes based on Western art and Western art's influence on uh, contemporary artists today. So whereas a lot of Indonesian artists focus on personal issues in Indonesia or uh, political issues or issues that are very much to do with Indonesian or Indonesianness, um, I think Mahendra Yasa was very different in terms of doing something completely different out of that. I think it is definitely unusual, especially in relation or in comparison to other Indonesian artists who perhaps uh, do things the other way around, where they start with something insular and something uh, very much focused on a certain idea that is entrenched upon local things, and then they try to expand uh, their visual languages into territories that are more international in nature. Mahendra Yasa did it completely the other way around, and that's one of the things that make him unique as an artist. I think through his investigation, Bali is still considered by many to be this exotic and this exoticized uh, geographical location where it's supposed to be stuck in a certain time era, or at least cultural era. In many ways, that really frustrates Mahendra, but the fact that Balinese art has been relegated into something a secondary or something considered a craft as opposed to a legitimate part of Indonesia's art history and modern art history in particular, I think that frustrates him. What is really interesting is that in this particular exhibition, Mahendra Yasa actually had to go into the actual techniques of, for instance, making canvases painting uh, with Chinese ink, conducting new forms of shading that he's been extremely unfamiliar with because what he knows is Western types of, or Western styles of painting. And then not only realizing or understanding the materials and techniques used for these paintings, but also try to understand the history behind how this came to be. Yeah, actually, I, I made uh, many copies about Pollock, Pollock, yeah. Uh, but the last painting is uh, <coughs> I, I try to, to put uh, some image in that abstract thing. Everything could be a metaphor of everything. I mean, you could imagine a sport, a motif, uh, color, blood, yeah, drip, as whatever. That's about imagination. That, that's uh, that's what, what, what I mean with, with Rorschach. Some people criticize why I, I I give the title Rorschach because actually Rorschach is symmetry. Yeah, I don't think uh, our imagination should be symmetric. That's why I choose that title. Although some people criticize it, it too. <laughs>